Welcome back, everybody, to the Kala Podcast. We deliver campus news and provide entertainment for Honolulu Community College. I'm your host, Chris. Today, I'm joined by my two co-hosts, Alan and Bryson. How are you guys doing today? What's up? Hello. Doing good. All right. So uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, the two, I guess, special events that are going to be happening in February. Well, three, but we're going to talk about two. Uh, first is going to be Black History Month. Uh, so we'll get right into it. What do you guys What do you guys know about Black History Month? Mm-hmm. It's to celebrate a Black people. Black History Month, I mean, what I know is that it was created so that we can like what Alan said, celebrate all the hardships that Black Americans had gone through to receive rights and equality and the way that we're still fighting for them. And also the contributions that Black people made. Yeah, it's to recognize all the people and basically everything that's come out of the Black community. Yeah, totally. Uh, you guys pretty much nailed it, you know. Uh, it's it's basically to try and recognize uh, all and celebrate I should say all the contributions that uh, many, many, many you know African Americans have made to to the United States, and a lot of people don't notice, but uh, it it wasn't uh, a full month before. Before it started, it was only about a week. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and it was it was started by uh, Carter Woodson uh, back in like the early twenties, the Roaring Twenties oh, wow. of the nineteen hundreds, uh, and then. Yeah, so it wasn't until uh, during the, the height of the civil rights movement uh, in 1976 uh, where it was expanded to be uh, a whole month of February. So it took a while for it, you know, to uh, get back, get it rolling and, and be as prominent as it is today. But, 50 years yeah it's it's just amazing that it was so recent right like this happened within the last century do you know why they choose yeah. february so that's a question uh, no I, I don't i don't actually know um let me read these <laughs> notes here quickly. <laughs> you know i mean it, it is you know the the monster of of loving right of giving love and mm celebrating it so that could be a reason but i'm, I'm not i don't want to you know assume but you know there even today you know with all of the uh the contributions and all of the uh the progress that we've made you know there's still some uh hindrance to racial harmony you know there's still racial injustice right Mm-hmm. That's true. It, it's it's interesting uh, to me because you know um, we're technically all one people. We're one species of varying colors, right? It's like a peacock, right? Peacocks have multiple different colorations in them, and you know we all love them for it, but we can't seem to do that with our own our own species, uh, which is heartbreaking say the least right i just think that on the level of the way we as humans build our own social constructs how would you want to treat your fellow man yeah and you bring up a, a point where in, in, in philosophism you know um and we're all taking uh ethics at the moment right and it just reminds me of what, what we've read uh so far about uh how our ethics and our values and our own egoism I see. sort of goes into that. So how do you guys celebrate Black History Month? Well, I, I feel like the way that I celebrate it is not actively but passively and that it shouldn't it should be more like a, a reaffirmation of why it exists as a celebration as a month right like equality and civil rights is what that um, month in this month entails and that 
to to do that we have to show and we have to learn we have to experience all the hardships that black people have gone through just to reach those inalienable human rights and i feel like my form of celebration is just to keep that in my mind to be aware all the blood sweat and tears it's the least we could do right food we're putting it you know his, history is is history no matter how what you how you look at it and everyone has their own interpretation of it right so learning about that history whether through novels or documentaries or passed down from elders right is still history so i i think the best way to try and celebrate any anything is to just learn the history of it and and why it was it was created in, in the first place right yeah and i think black history Month service is a a great way to start everyone off into that past of of enlightenment where you can learn yeah i like the way you put that it's a form of enlightenment because some people it's just hard for some people to realize is that when you have the statement black history is american history is and that it's like mm-hmm. why why is that right people don't understand that all of the people's history that come to make america as a country all of that matters there is good parts there is bad parts but all of it should be preserved as much as possible so that we we don't go back yeah. right like we don't repeat ourselves yes so exactly we need to accept acknowledge and grow yes you know, and, and with, with that you know learn, learning and and knowing uh, all not just the good but the bad also you know helps you make better decisions in life and uh, ways to apply what you've known into your own community and stuff right you know? Um, so just like like what we're doing right now, right? At at, at Han CC uh, as student leaders because of what what we know and what we've done in the past, right? and just just to say this out to everyone, you know, if you guys are interested on being leaders, uh, being student leaders, you know, like like what we're doing, uh, we really encourage and everyone to you know apply. Uh, you guys can go to hccsld at kawaii.edu uh, for an, an application and or if you guys want to uh, give your inputs on uh, what it's like being at Han CC, you know, that's perfect place to do them as well, you know. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <Take basis. laughs> Just to top it off, guys, Black History Month, a great month to reaffirm just to educate yourself on black history and always continue to educate yourself because um i mean to be honest this country is built by black people and they were taken from their homes and they don't know anything about their culture so in a sense they had to create their new culture here in america you know with like rap and there's a thing called Black Sign Language, which is different from oh, wow. the American Sign Language. The more you know, I, I feel like, yeah, it's just being educated and just being aware is the best form of celebration for Black History Month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, keep on loving, keep on giving. Like Valentine's Day, you know? Do you guys, do, you guys do anything for Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even Valentine's Day yet. Yeah, but no. you know, do you guys do anything for Valentine's Day? <laughs> no, I don't have a significant other. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Lindsay. If you if you're listening to this podcast, please forgive me. Yeah, I'm gonna send you on. <laughs> yeah, no. I usually for Valentine's, I usually like to go out on a date and just just relax. I guess. I feel like the other thing that we neglect as people for valentine's day is just to reaffirm our love for not just your um significant other but your family members and your friends 
and I think that's for a lot of people is overlooked and you don't just love one person I'm sorry if you just have one person to love and I'm glad that you have someone you love and if you don't have anyone you love then maybe there are people you like <laughs> just be happy I guess that there are people that you don't hate that you <laughs> uh, if you have no significant other then you can just be be around your friends and other loved ones and you, you have a good day regardless but for me <laughs> yeah so, so for for you how do you how do you, what do you do what are you gonna do oh okay um usually the cliche the the flowers the chocolates what me and Lindsay usually so Lindsay's my uh i other have my significant other right she yeah your boyfriend yeah my boyfriend she's yeah yeah she wears the pants in the relationship she, mm-hmm. she walks all over me but um <laughs> Like Thai massage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels good. What I like mm-hmm. to do is to just um, have a picnic. What we've been doing recently or for our anniversary, we went out on a picnic and we made food and we just enjoyed the sunset, right? And I feel like mm-hmm. Valentine's or celebrations like that, they don't have to be huge, spontaneous, spend a lot of money, right? It's just a day to reaffirm your love with someone or to just have a day off like honestly me and Lindsay, we are busy and anytime we can just enjoy each other's presence is the best so valentine's day is just another excuse to to hang out i guess and to just enjoy each other's company that's my main valentine's takeaway is just to enjoy the company of a loved one how about you guys? <laughs> uh, I like the question. I don't have a significant other. You have a Valentine? Uh huh. So, how would you celebrate Valentine's, if at all? I would spoil myself. Oh, that's not a bad idea. See that? Especially the way you see yeah. it, loved one includes yourself. Mm-hmm. Everybody should be celebrating Valentine's not only for others but for yourself because you have to love yourself first to guys love others, right. exactly that's why i took a unicorn from the office and i made myself a unicorn oh yeah your unicorn your unicorn yeah yeah to go um to segue from that yeah guys um student life and development is doing a valentine's day event and if you sign <laughs> uh yeah well i don't i think when this comes out i don't know if we're gonna have uh extra but we should we should have uh i think a lot of the i don't know if we're gonna have enough of the big stuffies uh i don't think so i'm pretty sure we'll we'll still have some of the small stuffies that we're gonna be giving that we and we have a lot of those so um there should still be some uh of the small stuffies that are available so we're having a valentine's event and uh, our supply is running out quickly mm-hmm. so get in as soon as you can and hopefully by by this episode's uploading there's still some left <laughs> so guys make sure to follow us on instagram to be in the loop for more events just like this one so that you can get in on the gift bags and all the stuff that we have planned for the future so follow us at hauncc underscore sld and at hcc call on news get on it guys mm-hmm get those free stuffies and my favorite one is the is the uh, is it a rat <laughs> yes it's a rat so there's a really good one it's a rat this is supposed it's to be a rabbit yes who knows you might get a dragon. rare dragon so chris how do you celebrate valentine's huh uh valentine's day i usually get myself a giant box of chocolate mm-hmm uh, and do you eat that all within the day or <laughs> no no, no, no. <laughs> um i would i mean i can but i i don't right mm-hmm. I'll, I'll usually get i'll usually give uh like some chocolate like those strawberry covered chocolate uh to friends and family um and then uh yeah like i said box of chocolate for myself because i love chocolate Chocolate is one of my favorite uh, desserts, and I love eating it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so any any form of chocolate, well, I'll take. Um, 
let you guys know. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So just just a lot of of sweets. That's my thing. Uh, yeah. Like you guys have said, you guys celebrate with yourself. You celebrate it for yourself. How should is that how you think other people that are single should spend Valentine's Day too? You know, if if people are looking uh, for you know to be in a relationship, they should ask someone. <laughs> I think it's a great way to start. I see. <laughs> how should how should a single person? Celebrate. Single person should, should should try and and find someone. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, don't don't listen yeah. to Chris. Don't listen to Chris, guys. It, you don't have to have someone to validate your own to validate yourself, your feelings, you guys. Celebrate with your friends, with your family, with your dog. Yeah, friends and yeah, friends. Celebrate with friends. Get a barbecue. Do a barbecue. Oh, I want to do a barbecue. I think. Yeah. Getting a barbecue with with friends is always a good idea. Question of the day: Would you guys rather give or receive a box of chocolates or flowers? Yeah, I, I think that's the most cliche thing that most people do, right? Uh huh. I would give and get chocolate because you can chocolate eat it and savor the moment. You know, mm-hmm. with with flowers, you can display it, but after like two days, it's gonna die off. <laughs> so you just give them the seed, make them grow themselves. The seed. <laughs> Here you can grow. I see. I see. I f- um, I feel like I do flowers more more than chocolates, because mm-hmm. I know Lindsay likes flowers. She likes flowers a lot, and it makes a statement, right? Like the nicer the flowers, and it's really hard to get ugly flowers, but they exist. But also, yeah, like usually I like to get flowers that aren't just like entirely roses. That way, if they had, if Lindsay wanted to put the bouquet or the vase as a centerpiece for like a dinner table or something, then it won't look out of place. Here's a tip, guys. All of you out there, everybody, don't just get roses. Or if you're gonna get roses, don't get the generic red stuff. You gotta go colorful, guys. You gotta make it look, cause. Roses are so basic, guys. Come on, get some creativity. Put some lilies in there. I would go for tulips. 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 Yeah. Add some more baby's breath. Maybe change up the packaging. Wrap it in some nice paper. You know, make it a little yeah, bit. Get it. Get it out of that that plastic wrapper uh, that Instead of just yeah, buying it and just giving it as is. Put a little heart into it, guys, because that's what matters most. Is where is that. this gift coming from? Is it coming from your wallet or is it coming from your heart? Both. Yes, it's coming from both and also from the garden. <laughs> yes. Did you get Lindsay the copper roses last week? No. That's something I, I wish we still have this semester. Yeah? The copper roses. I mean, I, I honestly, I didn't even know those were a thing until after. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we, we, we said it in class. I don't remember. <laughs> my bad <laughs> well uh, usually uh, usually i have I things like... planned already so maybe i i didn't notice it or it was it was like uh i already got something uh, it's always crowded so the line is always long i see i was like the last one or when a few last mm, people were alive oh, 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 so you... well, we were taking pictures yeah so you should have first yeah yeah i had to go in and take pictures so you got the rose for yourself no, I couldn't. They ran out. Shucks. But I, but I got to see how they make it. Oh, well, hopefully that comes back. I hope it does. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Have our fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think that's our time, guys. Any any other announcements that we should make? Yeah, just guys, just make sure to follow us on Instagram. And listen tune in to the podcast because we're gonna be keep rolling out as much events and activities as we can and we're trying really hard to keep us as a community together and interactive and keep the campus a happy place you know so thank you for sticking with us and happy black history month and i hope you all have a spend with your loved ones at least people you don't hate. 
um, have a great Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, submissions for Art and Soar are open. So if, if you have any interesting artwork, drawings, paintings, poems, whatever, submit them at tinyurl.com forward slash HCC Art and Soul to have a chance to have it featured in the magazine. Exactly, guys. And as the airing of this very video, it is currently Lunar New Year and the Year of the Ox. Just remember that it's New Year's for everybody and I hope we all have 2021. It's our comeback, guys. Knock on wood. But 2021, this is our year, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's the three event, major events happening. We have giveaways for two of them. So find out more at mm. HCC at HanCC and underscore SOD. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, just a few reminders. If, if you guys are going to come to campus, make sure to use the Lumisite app. Uh, it just keeps makes sure that, you know, uh, whoever is coming into campus, we know who is coming in and out. And if something happens on the day that you're at campus, then this campus can quickly notify you about certain things. Uh, make sure to wear a mask. And if you're going to make appointments, go to Star Balance. And thank you guys again for listening. You know, if you guys want to listen to... Uh, more episodes make sure to uh go you guys can listen in on spotify apple podcast youtube and anchor uh, we're pumping these out every mondays and then we have specials like this that comes out once in a while you guys can visit the palaz.net for more campus news and events make sure you guys follow us again uh, instagram twitter facebook you know htc call on news same handle and then follow hancc underscore sld for uh, campus events uh, and giveaways happy black history month happy valentine's and happy lunar new year's yeah and and happy president's day on, on monday the 20th yeah oh yeah yeah so thank you guys again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah see you guys next time bye, bye. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Lunar New Year, and Happy Black History Month, everybody. Let's get it.